This video is a short review of medical terminology and how words are constructed. It's important in pathology because all the words tend to sound the same, but they have a central meaning. Um, and by understanding how the word is constructed, then it gives you a hint as to what the pathology is. Uh, it has like I say, essential meaning. All words have a central root. It's the main part of the word. And that root is modified by a suffix. It comes after the root. And it's, it's the ending of the word. And it gives the root a central meaning. The root can also be further modified by a prefix, which comes before the word. So if we take a word like mar, M-A-R, that's the Latin for the sea. The suffix, so that would be the root, mar. The suffix in, I-N-E, means pertaining to. So the word marine means pertaining to the sea. If we want to further modify that, we can add a prefix. Sub means below. So the word submarine really means pertaining to beneath the sea. We use uh, a lot of prefixes in telephone and um, suffixes to go with the roots to construct common everyday words, words that we know instinctively. The prefix tele, T-E-L-E, -E, means at a distance. The Latin for the sound of words, the sound of the spoken words, is phone, as in phonics. So if you have an instrument that allows you to hear the spoken word from far away, it's telephone. Television is vision from far away. Telecommunicate is to communicate from far away. Kinesis is movement. So if you move something from a distance, it's telekinesis. That's just so an uh, instrument to look at something is a scope. So, telescope is looking at something far away. Endoscope is looking at something inside you. Arthroscope, arthro means joint, is an instrument for looking inside joints. Microscope looks at something small. Para means between or alongside. It's where we get the word parallel because two lines are alongside one another. Right? So if something's alongside something else, it would be para. So paranormal is runs alongside normal. Uh, paralegals work alongside lawyers. Para also means to come between. So parachute becomes between you and falling. Shoot is is a falls. Parasol comes between you and the sun. Parapluie in French comes between you and rain. Virtually every word that we use is constructed this way. If we were actually trying to teach somebody how to speak English by breaking down all the words like that, it wouldn't make any sense. But if you come across a word that you don't know, you can dissect it and find out what it means. Most of the roots uh, are Latin or Greek. When you're using a Greek root, you should use Greek suffixes and prefixes. If you use a Latin root, you should use the Latin suffix and prefix. The root for kidney is renal in Latin. Right? Ad means on top of. So adrenal 
means on top of the kidney. Ein or in means hormone. So adrenaline means a hormone from the gland on top of the kidney. In Greek, the kidney is nephros, and the Greek prefix for on top of is epi. So epinephrine means hormone from gland on top of the kidney. It just happens to be in Greek. The Americans tend to like Latin and the British tend to like Greek. So if something is coined, a word is coined by a British author, it's probably going to be in Greek, like epinephrous gland making epinephrine. If it's uh, an American, they probably will use Latin. So you get adrenal gland making adrenaline. In Canada, we try, try and please both, so we have the adrenal gland making epinephrine. So that's the fundamentally how all words are constructed. When we look at the various prefixes and suffixes, here's a short list. It's not comprehensive by any means, but it will give you a good start. So A or an means without, right? So uh, anaerobic means without air. Uh, uh, there's a dozen other things that you could probably come up with. Uh, acro means extremity. So when we get to the um, pathology acromegaly, means big limbs. Adeno is glandular. So adenocarcinoma is a tumor in a gland. The suffix alga means pain. So ceph is head. So as you can see uh, over here. So cephalgia literally means head pain, so it's a headache. Anzio means blood or lymph vessels. Right? So that's why the uh, hormone that makes blood vessels constrict is angiotensin. Arthra is joint. This, the suffix itis means uh, inflammation, so arthritis means inflamed joint. Brady is slow. Bradycardia means a slow heart. Carcinoma means cancer. Cardio is heart. So uh, cervical means neck. Seal means swelling or hernia. Saf, I've already said, head. That's why moving towards the head is moving cephalic. Cole is bile. So a cyst is a hollow organ, as you see down here. So cholecyst is a hollow organ holding bile. The old English word for, uh, for a hollow organ is bladder. And the uh, old English word for bile is gall. So gallbladder and cholecyst mean the same thing. Act ECT means to cut, or, or sorry, is out, as in exit. Tomi is to cut. So cholecystectomy means to cut out the hollow organ that holds bile. Contra is against, contraindicated, against indication. Demo means people. So, uh, Democracy is governing by the people. Uh, demographics is a recording of, of the people. Derma is skin. Dia is through. So diaphragm passes through the, the cavity. Dys, D-Y-S, this one is common. This difficulty. Ecto is outside to remove. Emia refers to blood. An 
Emia means without enough blood. Endo, inside. So when we were back in physiology or anatomy, when you were talked about uh, the heart, the, the endocardium is lining the heart. The epicardium is on the heart. Epi means upon. So in osteology, when you were talking about bones, the epicondyles are on, above the condyles. Urethro is red, so urethrocytes means red cell. X, out, exit. Gen is a very important one because anytime you see gen, it's the beginning, producing. It's where the word genesis comes from. Uh, the, in the beginning is the first words of the book of Genesis. Uh, generate is this word, but fibrinogen means the same thing. So it means it's the beginning of fibrin. Uh, anytime you see gen as a suffix, it means it's probably an inactive form of a protein. Glyco is sugar. Graphy is writing. A little bit of writing is graffiti. Graph. Uh, telegraph is writing from far away. Hemo means blood, hemi is half, hepato is liver, you know those. Hydro is water. Right? Um, hydrocephalus, therefore, would be water in the head, babies that are born with swollen brains. Hyper is too much or above, hypo is too little. So hyperactive, too much activity, hypoactivity is not enough. Um, itis is inflammation. Lepsis is seizure. Uh, narcolepsis, narco is to sleep, so narcolepsis is a sleep seizure. Epilepsy is on top of your brain, epilepsis. Uh, leuco is white, leukocytes are white. Lipo is fat, liposuction. Litho means rock or stone. So lithograph is writing with stone, so it's making prints out of carvings on stone. Monoliths are the are single stones that at Stonehenge. But we use it in pathology, lith. So or coliliths are gallstones. Uh, renoliths are kidney stones. Fecoliths are is constipation to the point where the feces are like stones. Ology is, is study. So geology is the study of the earth. Geography is maps, writing about the earth. Uh, histology is the study of tissue, etc. Lysis is to break apart, to destroy. So hydrolysis is to break apart using water. Uh, mega is large. Meno means month. So dis, as we saw, means difficult. Meno means month. Rhea, we're going to see, means excessive flow. So menorrhea is excessive flow every month. Dysmenorrhea is difficult excessive flow every month. Metro means mother. It also is the uterus, therefore. So endometriosis means inside the uterus condition. Micro is small. Myco is fungus. This one you'll see a lot. M-Y-E means the marrow, right? So um, myelitis means... Uh, Osteomyelitis, it means the marrow of the bone is inflamed. Where myo means muscle. Uh, myositis. Um, narco is stupor or sleep. Because narcotics put you to sleep. Necro is death. Felis means to love. Philic 
means to like or to love. Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. That's what the word means. So necrophilia means love, loving death. Neo is new. Gluconeogenesis, making new sugar. Nephro is kidney. We've already said that. That's the Greek. Neuro means nerve. Oid means resembles. So the suture in the skull that looks like the Greek letter lambda is lambdoid. Uh, the muscle in the shoulder that looks like the Greek letter delta, which is a triangle, is deltoid. Uh, robots are humanoid, etc. Oma means term, tumor. So uh, carcinoma means a cancerous tumor. Uh, lipoma means a fat tumor. Right. Onco as a prefix means tumor, so oncology means the study of tumors. Orchid is testes. Uh, it's Greek. It came before the flower. The, the flower is named because it looks like a testicle. Osis means a condition. Osteo means bone. Para alongside or near. Uh, Peri means around, as in perimeter. Phasia is to eat. So esophagus facilitates eating. Um, macrophages are big cells that eat. Philia means affinity. Phlib means vein. So phlebotomy means to cut into the vein, to draw blood. Uh, phyto is plants. Plasia is growth. So hyperplasia is excessive growth. Hypoplasia is lack of growth. Plasma is formed. Patho means disease state. And we saw ology means the study. So pathology is the study of disease. Physio is nature. Physiology. Uh, psych is the mind. Psychology is uh, the study of the mind. Ren means kidney. Rhea means flowing. So, menorrhea is monthly flow. Seborrhea is, um, is excessive flow of um, sebum. Uh, diarrhea is excessive flow of that which passes through you. Rhino is nose. Rhino means nose and it exists before the animal was discovered. So, saurus means monster. So, when they looked at the first rhinoceros, somebody said, well, what is that? Well, it's a nose monster. Sarco is flesh. So, sarcoplasm and sarcoplasmic reticulum is of the flesh. Sarcophagus is something that eats flesh. And the flesh goes away when the body's put in a sarcophagus. Sclero is hardness or scarring. So scleroderma is a thickening or a hardening of the, the dermis. Spondylo is the spine. So uh, spondylosis is a condition of the spine. Stasis means stagnation, standing still. So hemostasis is when the blood isn't flowing properly. Stoma is, a, is an opening, a mouth. So Colostomy is when the colon has a new mouth, a new opening. Uh, ileostomy is when the ileum is given a new mouth, a, a new opening. Sin or sim is with. It's where we get the word synonym, symbiosis. It's where we get in joints, syndesmosis, synarthrosis, uh, synchondrosis synchondrosis coming together with cartilage thrombo is clot so thrombocyte is a cell that makes clots uh, thrombosis is a condition of having clots thermo means temperature of course trophic means growth so atrophy means no without growth hypertrophy means too much growth Vaso is blood vessel. So vasodilation means for the blood vessel to get bigger. So all of these things 
again, this is not a complete list, but it's a list that, of common ones. At the end of this slideshow, I've got a, um, a link to uh, a website that, that you can look anything up. Uh, you can also use your dictionary, and most of the textbooks actually name it. I had a patient come in to see me one time, and he told me that he had he was suffered from thrombocytopenia purpura. Do I know what that is? And I knew exactly what it is, and I impressed him because thrombo is clot, site is the cells that make it, so that's platelets. Penia means a lack of in the blood, so thrombocytopenia is a lack of platelets in the blood. Purpurla means that you bruise easily. You turn purple. So uh, probably a pretty good thing for a massage therapist or a uh, chiropractor to know. But rather than memorize that from some time in 1982, the name told me what I needed to know. That this was somebody who bruised easily because of a lack of platelets. There are some terms also that get used a lot, and they have specific meanings. Acute means sudden. Chronic means long-lasting. A complication is something related that makes things more difficult. Uh, it complicates the... Uh, so if you have a cold and it's complicated by a weakened immune system, then the cold will affect you worse. Contraindicated, you've used that term before, so it means against indication. You don't want it to happen. Demographic is who are the people that get it. Diagnosis means to share knowledge. Gnosis is knowledge. Dia is through or to share. So diagnosis. Prognosis means to know before. Agnostic means without knowledge. Endemic means that the condition exists in the population all the time. So uh, we can say things like um, tuberculosis is endemic in dairy cows in Ontario. Uh, there's a lot of it, in other words. Epidemic means uh, that this condition sits over the population. Uh, so epidemic is when a whole bunch of people in one area get the pathology, get the disease. So a influenza epidemic is when a bunch of people are getting influenza. Pandemic means everybody in the world is getting it. Uh, and again, dem refers to people. Idiopathic means uh, we don't know the cause. It's caused by idiots, as it were. Uh, idio means without knowledge. Uh, incidence is how often something happens. Uh, indicated means that the signs and symptoms are pointing towards that diagnosis. Kinesis is movement. A lesion is any sort of a um, uh, of a spot of problems. Morbidity is how sick does it make you? Mortality is how likely is it to kill you? Pandemic we talked about. Prevalence is how, how much of it exists. So a disease can have high incidence, low prevalence, low morbidity but high mortality. That means that incidence is how many people get it in a given time. So very few people get it in a given time 
or lots of people get it in a given time, but very few people have it at any time because most people die. There's a high mortality, but you don't get really sick with it. So uh, when we look at something like Ebola, Ebola has a high mortality rate. It also has a high morbidity rate. People get really sick and then they die. The, uh, the prevalence is very low. There's not too many people around with it mostly because they die, the incidence is getting fairly high in West Africa right now. But it's the incidence is low outside of that. Um, prognosis is how is it going to turn out. A sign is uh, something that is objectively measurable, like temperature or uh, blood pressure, things like that. Things that you can measure are signs. Where symptoms are things that are subjectively reported by the, by the patient. So signs and symptoms kind of go together. One's objective, you can measure. The other is a reported. Stenosis means narrowing. Uh, so spinal stenosis is when the uh, vertebral foramen gets narrow. Subacute means that it is not necessarily causing symptoms. A syndrome is, as opposed to a disease, is a collection of uh, symptoms that are related but could have more than one cause. Um, diseases have one specific cause. Syndromes could have a number of different causes. Trauma is exactly what you think it is. Trauma is uh, is getting hurt. So this is a link to the a website with definitions. Uh, I hope this helps.